Tubbers, it's great to see you. Why don't we pray before we go any further? Father God, we love you. Thank you for looking out for us. Thank you for keeping us safe during the week. Thank you for school holidays. Thank you for chocolate Easter eggs. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for blossom and daffodils. Thank you for always being there for us. Amen. And today we're starting a brand new series called The Storyteller. And it's all about some of the stories Jesus told. But first of all, our key point for today is... Our key point is use your talents for God. Is that the sound of a fanfare I can hear? And our Bible bit today comes from the book of Romans, which is one of those books of letters that we talked about before towards the back of our Bible in the New Testament. And it comes from Romans chapter 6 and verse 8. And Romans chapter 6 verse 8 says this, God has given us all different gifts for doing certain things well. Do you like stories? I love reading and I love reading stories. When I was a boy, my favourite book was a book called Stig of the Dump. Maybe you've heard about it, but maybe you might like reading books like J.K. Rowling's books about Harry Potter or Anthony Horowitz. I love the Alex Ryder books. They're exciting. Or Michael Morpurgo. He's a good author. And of course, Roald Dahl and... Jacqueline Wilson, wonder who your favourite author is, which books you like to read, which stories you enjoy most. Do you like action stories or, or uh, mystery stories? What kind of stories or funny stories? What are your favourite kind of stories? Jesus was a great storyteller. He told fantastic stories. They weren't long stories. These are all quite long stories. These are just very short stories, but every story that he told had a really important message for us to understand and somehow wrapped up in a story it made it a lot easier for us to remember and to understand as well. And the story we're going to look at today is been known as the parable of the talents and it's all about a man who was going to go away on a journey but before, before he went away on a journey he got his three servants together and he asked them to look after the money. They called it talents in those days, but he gave them each different amounts of money to look after. Let's look at that story together.
And in the story of the parable of the talents, the master, when he came back from his journey, he expected that his servants would have used the talents, the money that he'd left them to look after. Not just to hide it in the ground like the last servant did, but to, to make good use of the talents that he'd given to them. And in this story, the master is a bit like God and the servants are like us. And God, our Father, has given every single one of us, not bags of money, but talents, gifts, special gifts that he wants us to use. He has given us special gifts just for us to use. And not to use for ourselves, but to use for him to help to, to build up God's kingdom. Do you like playing with a frisbee? We all know what a frisbee is, but just pretend for a moment you don't know what it is and you've never seen one before. You might think it was a dinner plate. It looks a bit like a dinner plate, doesn't it? Or maybe you might put it on your head as a hat, or maybe you might think it's a tool for digging in, in the sand. It could be just about anything, but it isn't. But it's a frisbee. And the person that created the frisbee created it for a special purpose. And the purpose of a frisbee is to fly. Frisbee isn't very impressive to look at, is it? It's not like a, an Xbox or a PlayStation, but the Frisbee can really, really fly. Let's have a look at this expert flying a Frisbee. And I wonder what gift God has given you. He wants you to use it. Maybe he's given the, you the gift of encouraging someone. Maybe he's given you the gift of teaching. Maybe he's given you the gift of, of faith or of helping others or the gift of, of healing. There are lots of gifts that God gives to us. Maybe it's the gift of serving, just looking for ways that you can make a difference. God has given us each different gifts and he wants us to use the gifts that he's given to us. Maybe he's given you natural gifts and talents. Maybe you're a fantastic writer or a fantastic sports person. Maybe those are your gifts or an artist. Those can become gifts that God can use as well. So don't be like that lazy servant and hide your gift. Can you hear that bird singing? That God's given that bird a gift of singing. Can you hear it? He's really using his gift, isn't it? Isn't he? Or she. Maybe your gift is singing. Then sing for God. Use the God gifts that God has given you. And then when you do, just like that frisbee, you'll really, really fly. We're going to finish by singing a song together. And the song that we're going to sing is, It Is The Cry Of My Heart. I almost forgot then, it's written on a piece of paper. We're going to sing, It Is The Cry Of My Heart. And after this, we'll have a wow video about someone flying a frisbee. But until then, you have a fantastic week and we'll see you next time.
What's up guys, Brody here. So we're out throwing today. It's a little windy. So I'm going to try the uh, maximum time aloft drill, also known as an MTA. Basically, I'm just going to throw the disc up as high as I can um, and really try to get a lot of hang time and then catch it. And this is a pretty good drill to kind of work on just arm speed, pulling, hucking, all this stuff. So we'll try it out.